All right. Uh, thank you to the county. That concludes your cases tonight. We'll move over to the city of Boston and Matt. The first case is item number four, VA 2020-03. Thank you, Madam Chairman. Um, these next two items, which is items four and five, are by the same applicant, but for overlapping properties, like we talked about the work session. The first one is simply a rezoning. Um, to resume 0 0.56 acres from conditional RM to regular RM. Subject property is located at 406 Main Street Road. Um, you may remember this from a zoning and plan development case last summer uh, for a 12 unit apartment complex. Um, that complex is on the plan review. It is currently under construction. Um, however, it's the next case that has predicated the change of zoning for the applicant, which who also owns the apartments to the west, is wanting to combine the plan developments together. Um, so first one here is to rezone the easternmost of these properties from RM conditional to RM. So the conditions of approval that are affecting this property, which as we talked about really pertain to Pine Tree Road, um, are wiped clean and we have a clean slate to add this to the property next door. Um, so with that, staff has found a request consistent with the conference plan, our standards for exercise of zoning power, and those are all referenced there in the packet, and we are recommending approval. All right. Do we have questions of staff or commissioners? No? All right. If you want to ask a question, Commissioner Bain. All right, if not, is there anyone in the audience tonight who wishes to speak on behalf of this re request? Please come forward and state your name and address, please. My name's, is it working? There we go. Yeah, we sort of got to get it. Yeah. Uh, my name's John Niger, made 428 off the road. Um, I'll just hope you approve this. The, the apartment that already built, uh, they're going to be the same. They don't look the same and everything. I just need one. So I'm not sitting there with two addresses with the same apartment complex. I'm sorry, what was that you said? You just need what? One address. One address, gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so it makes it easier on the Gotcha. So just if you agree with that, I appreciate it. All right. Any questions for the commissioner? I mean, for our speaker, for our commissioner. All right. Thank you, Mr. Nigel. Right. Anyone else here tonight who wishes to speak on behalf of this request? All right, if not, is there anyone tonight wishing to speak against this request? Please come forward. If you're wishing to speak against this request, please come forward. All right, if there's no one wishing to speak against the request, I'll turn it back over to the commissioners for any other discussion. Certainly. I'm just curious. Uh, what, are, what are you asking for us to resolve? the one to the west of it that's already zoned the RM. Correct. So do we have any idea that we were going to get this RM when it started the, the original one? No. You've noticed the timeline in your packet, these are several years apart, mm -hmm. I think 2017 and 2019. So yes, the one on the west went first three years ago. <clears throat> And then last summer it was this parcel and then the property to the north, two different developments. I, I'm just curious, what, if this whole zoning is about an address, what's the deal with that? It's not just about an address. Addresses are optional. These two, the 4, 6, and 410 Bay Tree could remain, or you could combine it as one. It does not matter. <coughs> but this is to eliminate conditions of zoning. This is more of the housekeeping of the two requests. The conditions that are on this property are also on the property to the north. They were written for the property to the north. This has its own plan development with its own conditions of approval, which are very different than the property to the west. So this is an effort to get both properties zoned the same, and then later hopefully combined as one plan development, one set of conditions. <coughs> and it also eliminates <coughs> Eliminates the need for another water line to be drilled under Bay Tree Road. Is that That's the benefit of combining the two complexes together. 
and that's what I think started the conversation with the applicant and their engineer and the city staff. So that really, was that came out during the planning review process of this property. So really, just trying to <coughs> clean up some zoning issues then in that area. Correct. It, it's fine the way it is. Right. It were reviewed, approved separately. They mm -hmm. can stay separate, each with its own conditions as they are applicable or not. Right. Um, but the desire to combine them as one triggers a few dominoes. And this That's is just one of them. All right. Do we have any other discussion or questions? I mean, excuse me, the, the property to the north, Matt, it still has a C in parentheses. Is that a chance that going forward that's going to be removed also? Um, those conditions pertain to that property, mm -hmm. and it's no access to Pine Tree Road, mm -hmm. limitations on height. All of those conditions are written with that property in mind. Okay, so that's still in stone? Um, not in stone, but in loose cement. I mean, mm -hmm. The owner of that property could come forward as their own request if they want to change something. But again, that project is also under construction as approved as a... <coughs> And those conditions were specific to that property because of the right. Yeah. 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 right. Okay. All right. Any other? And, and they're there in your packet. Right. Okay. All right. If there are no other questions or discussions, I will entertain a motion. Madam Chair, regarding rezoning request DA 2020 03, the rezone 1.56 acres from RM, to RM, no condition, multi family, based on staff report. I move that we recommend approval to the city council. And that is with the approval. Okay. There's no conditions on this one. No, no, this no. Oh, that was for last summer. Right. Okay. Those are those are there for reference. Gotcha. That's what's on there now. That's what we're trying okay. to eliminate. All right. We have a um, motion by Commissioner Hightower, seconded by Commissioner Wilds, to approve. Is there any discussion? If not, all those in favor of the motion to approve, please raise your right hand. All those against, and the motion carries. Thank you. All right, moving along then to DA 2020-04. Let's skip down a few slides. Um, this one is the plan development request. It's actually an amendment to merge two pre-existing plan developments together. Let's go several more. trying to speed it up with the first one to get to this one. This involves more property. Um, as you see, the subject property is a little bit different. It's the property from the last item plus the parcel to the west. Um, is currently addressed as 406 and 410 Bay Creek. Um, you see the history when they received their plan development approvals in um, 2017 as well as last year. Um, the conditions for each are listed there in your packet. You see in 2017 there was a list of seven conditions and then in 2019 there were only two very different ones and so the proposal is to merge them together um, because the property to the west is already existing the property on the east is under construction same ownership um, eventually to combine the parcels together which will become a requirement um, it is simply a matter of merging the plan developments so on the second page of your packet under staff's recommendation, after we have found a consistent recovery <coughs> development standards, is you see seven conditions written. Most of those are the seven to the front of the property to the west. Matt, uh, pardon me for intruding. The seventh one was emailed to us. Can Correct. You, um, it's not on the sheet that we have in front of us. Can you remind okay. us of how that read? I will get to that. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Um, we had talked about this at the work session where we were the idea then was to insert that language into condition number one, but to make it more clear, I thought it would be better to have it stand alone. The only thing that is really different is in condition number five, um, the bottom two thirds of that, that's the portion of the condition related to Buck Yard and Leland Cypress that came from last year's plan development and that pertained to the property on the west. So we're carrying that one forward. And then, of course, number six is there. Um, and then number seven is the new condition. And that is, this approval shall supersede and fully replace the prior plan development approvals for these properties as denoted in file numbers 2017-13 and VA 2019-03. So 
In other words, the old plan developments go away in their entirety. They're replaced with the new one. One thing you might notice, um, as it's customary with plan developments, we put in an expiration date because typically those are all proposed and they may or may not happen. In this case, the property to the west is already built. The property to the east is under construction. Expiration date seems moot. So uh, staff left it off. Okay. All right. Do we have questions for staff? All right, if not, we'll turn it over to the audience. I'm sorry. Okay. Is there anyone here tonight who wishes to speak on behalf of this request? Please come forward. Anyone wishing to speak on behalf of the request? Please come forward. All right. If not, is there anyone here tonight who wishes to speak against this request? Please come forward. Anyone who wishes to speak against this request? All right, if not, I'll turn it back over to the commissioner for any final discussion. And if there are no discussion, no further discussion, I will call for a motion. Madam Chair. Mr. Wallace. Regarding this uh, request, PA 2020-04, uh, by these two additional and residential plan developments, as uh, staff so adequately explained everything, uh, this is uh, a good idea. Approved. With the condition. Okay, with the condition. With the condition. All right. Hmm? Second. Second. All right. We have a motion. Do we have a second? Second. We have a second. Any discussion? All those in favor of the motion, please raise your right hand. All those against. Thank you. Motion carries. Thank you. All right. And moving to the last one. Uh, VA 20.